Uh, I've been playing the right. uh, Shadow of the Colossus remaster. Yeah, me too. Um, Speak of the devil. No, I'm sorry. Remake. remake. It is Wait, not a remaster. You got that too? Yeah, dude. Yeah. A lot of people are using the term remaster. I know, I just did. It is really not. <laughs> it, it is a remake. The remake... No, I had to correct myself because yeah. I keep reading that and I get mad. It's like... it. A remaster, it's like, hey, we cleaned it up. But no, they rebuilt it from the ground up. Um, and I've been playing... Uh, it is so funny how... I haven't played it... They, they When they put it on PS3, I was like, yeah, awesome. I didn't play it at all because it was still like... Fr it was fresh enough in my mind still that I didn't feel like I wanted to necessarily. Yeah. Now it's been long enough. Now it's been like 12 years. 13 almost? Hmm. 13 years. And I'm like ready to play that again. It looks okay. beautiful. It's stunning. Yeah. It, uh, but it's so funny because I, I, first of all, that's the one game I said before. I've never played this game. Yeah. I watched the that's entire the one game. I, I watched the entire game yeah. be played oh. with my roommate. I never touched it. Mm. So it's my first time actually playing the game. And uh, I can't get the controls. I can't get them. Like, really? Right. No, I keep jumping off the fucking thing. Oh, but uh yeah. <laughs> now like after knowing everything, I feel so bad killing these fucking things. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just I feel bad about killing this beast. I don't know. I, uh, I feel uh, terrible. Oh, cuz you know how the game ends kind Not of. Even thing? that. Just cuz I mean they're cuz they're cute. Even in Zelda, the yeah. Hinox, I felt bad. This guy's just fucking sleeping. And I'm gonna wake him up yeah. by killing him. Yeah. That sucks. Like I don't know what that yeah. is with me. <laughs> I feel bad about this uh, fucking thing. Uh, You're too sensitive. I know. I reloaded GTA 5. God help Los Santos. <laughs> I will kill everything in sight. Uh, the game runs in 4K. If you can do, if you have a 4K TV, it runs in 4K HDR. And oh my God, it looks so good. But you know, it, it it remains to be said. Like they've they've tweaked a lot of stuff. Obviously, it runs a hell of a lot better than it did back on PS2. But I also think we need to get away from like people still call this game perfect. It it isn't, and it wasn't, it never has been. Like I'm still they fixed it up. I'm still wrestling with shit. Like there are times I'm on the Colossus back, and it's going. The camera is like up its armpit, and I'm uh. like, nah, like yeah, like. It can be great without being perfect. It, it's a great game, but um, man, I wrestled with a ton of shit back on the PS2 one. I felt like I was constantly in uh, battle with the camera or whatever. It is better on this, but it still ain't perfect. Even so. Last Guardian had a lot of camera. Oh yeah, all, all their games. Issues. All their games have had issues with that kind of stuff. Yeah, always a camera with that team. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but th that being said, though, like. It's very easily overlookable. Oh yeah, it's those awesome. games are so good. But I was gonna say, it's funny how much m sense memory I have. Haven't played that game in 13 years, and haven't you know been looking at anything. And I got through the first five giants in an hour. I mean, wow. in just in Whoa. no time because it was like, oh yeah, this guy. Oh yeah, you know what? Oh yeah, lean over. Okay, gotcha. Okay, like I haven't even thought about it, but it's just so, you know, it's so like muscle memory into me. It's like, okay, okay, yeah, hit me. Okay, now I got you. All right, you know, it's like I'm getting all these trophies because I'm like beating. Uh, oh yeah, you beat that Colossus in one minute. Okay, you Whoa. beat that oh, last one. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, it just and then and then every now and then there's something where it's like, I don't even remember this being in the game. You know, it's yeah. like. But, uh, yeah, now I heard there's a level where you have to crawl up a Colossus's ass. Nope. No, well, they, no you're right. They all have he asses, yet. right? Yeah. All of them? So you could crawl up each of their At, asses. Is Rockernaut gets to that part? And no, you're like crawling. Oh, you're like crawling in. through the shit. Oh. Yeah. You're like going through it. I thought you were just like up the butt cheeks. Yeah. Up, and then to the lower back. You but destroy you're going it from like the inside out. Bust out like uh, I heard who, that was a new thing. Who busts out? Buster. Buster bust loose. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of that scene in Guardians of the Galaxy where uh, you crawl it. into its anus. Thank you. Yeah, the chat. Bust it right out. The chat confirmed it for me. So. Wow. Uh, yeah. Dunstan I... checks in. <laughs> Dunstan <laughs> checks in. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. I, I, uh, oh, go ahead. I was on that kick. Uh, I wanted to play Shadow of the Colossus again so bad, but, I, you know. I have all these other games that I should have played first, mm, but yeah. I couldn't resist. So now I'm not playing. I haven't been playing Dragon Ball. I, I played a little bit of Dragon Ball, and I still love that. But I haven't played any Monster Hunter. Oh, so yeah. Anyway, mm. yeah, I'm still I'm still doing. Is story, that what you were going to Story about, mode sorry. on Fighter Z. Uh, 
No, I, I got Monster Hunter. I played like an hour of it. I, I got through like the tutorial and the first sure. kind of big monster. This is my first Monster Hunter game. I've never played one before. Uh, I was sold because it's open world. Right. I love open world games, but I haven't made an opinion on it yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm, the jury's still out on Monster Hunter mm. World Yeah, I don't for know. me. As I was telling you before this, I don't know how much... I haven't played a lot of it either, so I don't know how much the open world factors into it or if that aspect is going to disappoint you or not. I mean, those those games are really hunting stuff, collecting shit to make shit. I mean, that is the whole game. But uh, I don't know if there's a factor that adds to that or, or changes See, it. See, for me, in the uh, immediately my thoughts about the open world with Monster Hunter, yeah. it, and I know that I've never played one before, so maybe this is par for the course, but... You can only, it seems, leave the village when you're on a quest to find a certain monster. I mean, that's that's how it was with the old one. And then so I, don't I don't know, know what the difference is. I'm still early in the game, so I don't know how linear those quests are. Can you really like explore? Can you do your own thing, or is it just like yeah. track down this monster, hunt it, go back, get the next that, quest? That's how the old ones were. I don't know. Uh, people in the chat are saying it's only open world in that the areas are all connected now. Okay. So I. Yeah, I don't know how yeah, before, much that's going to affect stuff. Before the areas were kind of small, but connected yeah. in a in like one to two to three to four, but you couldn't go like from one to six. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you could, but it was like a laid out. I see. Path. Because when this I, is just a big open world. I love a sense of exploration in an open world game where you're kind you kind of don't know what you're getting and then you're surprised. Like yeah. Zelda, perfect example. Like, oh, is that a temple over there? Oh, yeah. What are these giant statue things off in the distance? Maybe I'll check that out, but yeah. maybe I'll leave that for later. Uh, maybe it'll want to kill me, so I don't I, think I'm not this, strong yet. Everyone in the chat is saying, yeah, this is not a game you explore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I was, you know... I thought it was. I was sold on it, on the open world aspect of it. I'm still going to give it a shot. Yeah, I've never I mean, played, they're still fun. Those yeah, games are I've never fun. played Monster Hunter, but... Yeah. Um, Okay, not an open world game. Thank you for getting my expectations right in line with. Yeah, I mean, but, I heard it was like an awkward comedy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just an awkward comedy. The parents are just weird and awkward. It ain't no Far Cry. You know, uh, I actually saw a trailer for Far Cry Five today, which looked pretty interesting to me. Oh, I might pick yeah. that up. I, I keep forgetting that's not out. Yeah, it's not Wait, out. Is, it's not right. I don't, I'm seeing like Am Facebook crazy? ads and stuff. Yeah. What weapon did I choose? I chose the uh, axe, sword, switchblade. The oh, switch yeah. Axe? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Switch axe. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I used that last game. <clears throat> I was kind of torn between the switch axe and, like, you know, a gun. Whatever. I, the, my the, weapon the of bow. choice, and people give me shit for this, but my favorite is heavy ass swords. Like, like a, like, you know, the heavy sword where, yeah. where it's like the jaw. No shield. And my favorite is, like, you get, like, the jawbone of a dragon or something. Yeah, and uh, it takes about 20 minutes to land an attack. Yeah. But man, when you yeah. do, you smack them fucking silly. You know, I like that. Somebody, that's my thing. Somebody in the chat said open world games are boring. And, Rago, I know you kind of have that sentiment sometimes. Like, for example, let me just say. Sure. Uh, recently, I uh, I installed a terabyte hard drive, two terabyte hard drive on my PlayStation. Mm -hmm. And so I went back and a bunch of games I deleted that I had on disc, I reinstalled. I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto V lately. I fucking love Grand Theft Auto V, but it's super open world. Like, you have oh, these yeah. quests, but you can pretty much do whatever you want. Distracted. But some people find that to be, like, boring. Like, it's too, you know, like, oh, what am I going to fucking steal a car, drive around, mm -hmm. crash it? But I really like that creative freedom to kind of, you know. Yeah. For sure. me, uh, yeah, I just make my own game out of it. So I steal a fast car and drive over jumps and like yeah. Yeah, yeah. crash it, go crazy. Well, now as time goes on, what I realize is it I've all cuz I always had this attitude of I don't like open world. No thanks. But you know what it is for me is as I've played more games and given them more of a chance, given open world games more of a chance. Yeah. I think it is for me it's just I just it's not that I hate open world, it's that the world has to engage the shit out of me. Okay. And so, like, when... I know it wasn't the most open world, but, like, when Phantom Pain came out, it was like, fuck, I can go anywhere in the world of Metal Gear? Hell yeah, you know? So I was fully engaged in that, um, you know, uh, with Breath of the Wild. That's what got me I, yeah. into it. I just want, you know, that's... I mean, to explore that world is, like, a fucking dream. Yeah, that, that I, is... 
that game made me want to play Red Dead. Me play, yeah. Things I, I steered clear of yeah. because I was too intimidated by the open world. I like, want to play Red Dead. That one yeah. kind of made me like, oh, you know, you should play these games. It's yeah. fucking amazing. So I think for me, it was that a lot of what I tried were Grand Theft Auto, and I don't like the world in those games. I don't, I'm not it's interested. Just a city. not interested in the city. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I think that was what turned me off. Yeah, see, I love that there's a stock market in Grand Theft Auto that you yeah, can manipulate. Sure. There are businesses to buy that every single pedestrian you can interact with in some way. You know, you can piss some off. Some of them get intimidated by you. Like, sometimes in Grand Theft Auto, somebody will – you'll cut them off. They'll chase you and want to fight you. I'll be like, fuck yeah, dude. I got somebody I want to fight. Sometimes – You'll like scare somebody, they'll start running away from you, and I'll be like, Ooh, I'm gonna yeah. go crazy, pursue this person like Jason Voorhees, <laughs> and I'll just follow them forever. And like, they're running, they're running, and I'm just still following them calmly, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know, I yeah. have fun like playing with it, seeing yeah. what I could do, kind of just exploring the space and testing the rules. Sure. Mafia 3 was a game that was technically open world that I thought sucked, super boring, just like uh -huh, kind of sure. going from mission I to heard mission that from to a mission. Lot of people, yeah. With if you weren't doing the missions, there wasn't a lot to really explore. I felt like, yeah, um, you so, know, Crackdown was like one of the first that I thought did it so good. I really enjoyed Crackdown. That first Crackdown, fucking awesome. And then I would say Saints Row the Third had a bitch in open world. That one was really good too. Environment and it kept you doing so much stuff everywhere that it was like there's always action. GTA Five, I would get a little distracted and then not do any of the story stuff. Yeah. Because it was so far away or I was just distracted racing cars and stealing yeah. shit. GTA Online is where I utilized the city way more because then it was really no objective and you're yeah. in there with actually uh, other players online. And stuff. I never beat the story in Grand Theft Auto V, so that's why I'm going back and getting into it now. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good story. My brother that. loved that game and... Uh, you know, I just had, honestly, like, I hated GTA 4. Like, I tried that, and I was like, fuck this. And, you could just and toss then, that tree over later when I went to 5, when I, I didn't play a ton of 5, but, you know, for that reason, I, I played the other, I played 4, and I tried another one, too, and I didn't care for it. But uh, the little bit I played a 5, was like, hey, the, yeah, that's actually, like, the story's kind of, like, engaging. The story's so, rad. The story's and I kind of wanted, wanted to try it some more. But far in it. Yeah. Um, but, uh. Yeah, I'm. I am all in for Red Dead. Oh my god! Yeah. Like that. That mm -hmm. um, the shots they showed just this last time after they gave it a date. Yeah, I'm watching a lot of westerns lately, so now I'm into yeah. it. When yeah. is that date? Coming October. Up? Oh, October. October twenty fifth. All right. Yeah. Hmm. It sucks uh, for a lot of. It must suck for a lot of developers because they were going to be early. They were early twenty eighteen for all this time, and then ah, no, you know what? Never mind. We're going to lock it October. All, all these developers that with a fall release must have been, god damn it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. they must have been so, like... There's your competition fuck, now. You were, supposed to be, you were supposed to be months from us. Like, what the fuck? Gosh. Um, but I don't know. Like, what's... I wonder what's what's going to be the big shit coming out this fall. Red Dead. I mean, other... That'll be huge. GTA 6. We'll find out at E3. Yep. 